Hi there, Jamie Cunningham with Sales Up TV, talking about the purpose planning method. In obviously, you know, big advocate of planning, it's important to know what your goal is and have a plan on how you're going to execute it. Sometimes, one of the missing ingredients behind good execution is having the what I call the emotional leverage or the clarity around why you're going for something to to give you the meaning and the drive to to, to see it through. In pursuit of any goal, there's ups and downs, right? There's moments that where you're sailing on, on cloud nine and things are all falling into place. And then there are the other moments where it's all falling apart and you just want to give up or bury your head under a pillow. It's in those moments, like it's easy to keep going when things are, when things are good. It's when things are challenging and things are going against you that you need those emotional reserves to be able to keep pushing and keep moving towards your goal. So I'm gonna walk you through a really simple process for uh, not so much developing your goal, you, you need to know what your goal is, but to give you that emotional leverage, as I call it. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a blank bit of paper, like this, notebook, and you're going to divide it into, into three columns. Just like that. And in the top of the middle column, top of the middle column is your goal. So write that down. And so underneath that, you write your goal. And we use the, the SMART acronym for goals, which you may or may not have heard before. The SMART stands for Specific, Measurable, Achievable, you've got to believe it can be done, Achievable, Results Oriented, with a time frame. This helps us to create things that you know i think one of the keys here is that the measurable part measurable and time frame so you can really be know when you know what success looks like when you've achieved your goal so you write your goal in the middle there and then on the left hand column write the word why and here what you do is you write down all the reasons why that goal is important to you you want to write down very emotionally based so you know, try and get the logic out. Say your goal was a financial one, you know, you might say, so I can pay down the mortgage. Okay, that's great. But what does that mean emotionally? What's that gonna, what feeling is it gonna give you? And start to really articulate down the emotional states that you will get, the feelings you will get from achieving that goal and why it's important to you. Write that down and get clear on it. And then the last part, on the right hand column is the how. Now here's what you want to do in the how is don't worry about getting the how right. The how column is all about brainstorming. So just write down all the ideas you can possibly think of that you could, you could use to achieve your goal. And you might need more than one column here, but brainstorm them all out. And then once you've got a, a list that's you feel is exhausted, you can go back and start to prioritize and say, okay, which ones make sense? Which ones have you got the resources, time and ability to do? And from there, you can start to translate that into, if you want a, a more of a structure there, which I would advocate, you can get hold of our, our free 90 day planning tool and that will walk you through a methodology to put that in a framework that gives you a one page plan to, uh, to execute a grant against. But the, really the key of this, uh, this tool is around, that, is around this why component. Right, really knowing what it is that's in it for you to go after that goal. Sometimes this can take some practice. You know, certainly I've been in the place where you set these goals, uh, which might be based on other people's expectations, or you're not really sure what goal you should be going for, so you just write something down, and it doesn't have a whole lot of depth or meaning to it. As you do this more and more, you start to recognize and realize what it is that is important to you, and what are the, what's the emotional payoff that you get by achieving that goal. The clearer you get, the, cl the more emotional leverage you get to push you through the tough times. Jamie Cunningham with Sales Up TV, signing out.